All right, I'm with Paul Homme. That now it's H A L M E. That's a cool name, by the way. Uh, we're talking in the pregame, man, and you know he's got a nice little long shot story. He's uh, you're in. You got an MMA, you know, connection. I love MMA, and uh, <laughs> we're going to go back because you told me some stuff, man. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of a little theme that we haven't talked about yet. When you were a kid, first of all, let's get it. Where were? Where was that? And uh, tell us about yourself a little bit back then. Man, I grew up in a suburb of Detroit, real small. You know, it was a crazy area. It was a crazy, not the best neighborhood. Like we grew up lower middle class, I like to refer to it as. And, you know, I grew up like a lot of people's story where money's evil, rich people suck. You know, we can't afford that. The typical stuff that, so you're a kid, you're like, well, we can't do anything. This sucks. You know, it's like, we're, you know, and it's like, we weren't poor, but my parents just didn't understand money and everything. So it was, it was a challenge. And then, you know, growing up in Detroit was not the funnest place in the, in the, you know, 70s and 80s, you know, so luckily, well, luckily and unluckily, my dad walked out on us on Christmas Eve when I was 12. And I was, so from that moment on, I was obsessed with like, okay, I got to figure life out. You know, it's me, my mom, my sister. And then she ended up taking him back, of course, so the stipulation, we had to move to South Dakota. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm going from Detroit to South Dakota. And then we moved there and, you know, they had their problems. They ended up getting divorced finally. But actually, South Dakota was the best thing for me because I got to just run wild in the 80s and 90s. It was, it was like those old, like the Stand By Me thing. We'd go ride our bikes over bridges and be gone all day. And it was it was a crazy cool time to grow up. And it, it was definitely, definitely uh, what helped build me to who I am. Man, I'll tell you, going from Detroit, <laughs> how old were you when you guys moved? Uh, it, was, uh, it was after I was 12. So I just right before I, right before I turned uh, 13. That's different, man. And <laughs> to go from Detroit at 13 years old, you you got enough time there where you know a lot about uh, know enough about life, and then have that switch. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah you used to go to Tiger Stadium and seeing cool stuff, and then you're like literally at farms. <laughs> yeah, half your, half your trauma is being a Lions fan because they suck. You know, oh, they, they, they need, they so need a Super Bowl. They need they need to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, that it was it was rough. It was I was never really a Lions fan. My little sister was, but yeah, I just couldn't deal. With, even living there, I couldn't deal with the Lions. You know, it was just. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to was it North Dakota? You said. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. They, they, they don't even. Where's a, a Mount Rushmore? That's in North Dakota, right? Not south, That's but south it's on Dakota. the west. It's on the pretty west side of the state where I grew up on the flat, boring east side of the state. Did you, you didn't even get to like vacations to go go see it, or did you guys did every year? Every year, because family, family would come visit. Because oh, we're going to Mount Rushmore, and by by about the fifth trip, I was like, I'm so sick of this place. Can we <laughs> right. go anywhere else? It's like I live here, <laughs> right. but everybody wants to see Mount Rushmore. So that's where we took everybody. That's right. Was, that's the thing. You know, it's like I, I'm here in Texas now. I'm from LA, but everybody's like, I want to go get some barbecue. I'm like, all right, I reserve all my barbecue <laughs> to like usually people from out of town. So. You know, you're, I could see, you know, you how about the relationship with your dad? Never really uh, kind of like melded in anything. That's why you kind no. of, you went into money because he was like, you know, because that was like money's evil. You went the opposite direction. 100%. Yeah. I had this, this, this drive was inside of me of like, I have to have make, you know, do money, make money. So it's like literally at, yeah, I think I was 13. I got my first job working at a golf. Like I was in love with golf and I'd go out there and play. And I just asked them like, Hey, do you guys got any jobs? And they're like, Oh, we need somebody, you know, we need some people on the grounds crew that can run a mower. So I did that for my entire high school every summer, you know, working 50 hours a week when I was 13. What was high school like for you? It was crazy. It was, it was actually amazing because I had like 40, I think my graduating class was like 42 people. So dating was tough. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a very deep pool. So, <laughs> but, and I had life, I had amazing friends and just, you know, it, high school was great, you know, minus, my, you know, dealing with family and stuff, but at high school was a great time. Like I really enjoyed it. Did you go to college? Yep. Yeah. I played golf in college of all things. People see me now and they're like, what you played golf in college and you're an MMA guy. I'm like, yeah, life's crazy. It's like, I go down different roads. Yeah, Paul, Paul, people can't see him. Paul's like, a, he's a fit dude. He looks like he's an MMA fighter, you know? Uh, so to, to look at you and then think golf, <laughs> uh, all right, man, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Nobody believes it. I'm like, yeah, I was, did you, know, you look was, like this dr- when you played golf? <laughs> no, no, okay. I was, th- I was just, I didn't lift. I didn't do anything. I just played golf. Was, my whole dream was, I was going to be a pro golfer and make money, you know, and it was like, just, I was good in college, but you know, it was division two in the Midwest. It's like, yeah, it's not going to cut it, but it was, I wouldn't trade it. Those four years of college was amazing, you know, getting to travel and play golf and it, it helped, you know, being involved in competitive sports, you know, people are like, oh, golf's not really a sport, but it's a mental sport and you learn to compete under pressure and it's, it was crazy. It helped really help shape me. And then 
you get exposed to money on a golf course. I mean, you know, we only played the team. We got to play at the country club. So you're around people with money and you're like talking to people like, oh, this guy, this guy owns hotels. This guy does this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this is cool. So it was a cool experience to be around people because it, it helped get me out of what I was in, you know, my circle. Just keep expanding in my network and learning. Mm -hmm.